Bulls Nation, as the Summer League is still continuing to be an important part of what's going forward for the Chicago Bulls, the Chicago Bulls has taken liberty to signing some of the Summer League players that were playing in the Summer League officially onto the roster. And of course, I'm sure you all know who the players are, and we're going to talk just a little bit about it in this video. Let's do it. going on everybody it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video today we've got a Chicago Bulls related video referring to some of the players that the Chicago Bulls have signed from that summer league team onto this team and I know you guys know who I'm talking about but as mentioned before it is very important to talk about these things and of course to let you guys know about these players that will be on our bench and will be playing for the Chicago Bulls in the upcoming season before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about these players. This is not going to be a long video as many people would have already known this. Many people kind of expected this. And I feel like it's still very important to say as it's gone pretty quiet around the Chicago Bulls. So let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. The first one we are going to talk about is Devon Dotson. Devon Dotson signed another two-way deal for the Chicago Bulls, basically allowing him to take part in the Chicago Chicago Bulls team while also being sent down to the G League as well according to what the Bulls need to do with him. Very expected result. I don't know what happened with Devon Dotson in the last game. He only played 11 minutes. However, it seems like he is going to be someone that the Bulls are going to give another opportunity to in the G League and maybe some garbage time minutes here and there for the Chicago Bulls. With the amount of guards on this team, I find it hard to believe he's going to get significant game time. However, the opportunity is there for him, and if he works hard enough, I'm sure there's an opportunity that can go down to him in this, I guess, next season. But most likely, I see him being a G League player for the Chicago Bulls next year, and this is where he needs to spend most of his time improving his game and showing he has a future at the NBA level, and I think we all want to see that truly happen for the Chicago Bulls. The next one will be Ayo Dosumo. Ayo Dosumo signed a two-year deal from his rookie contract. Basically, the Chicago Bulls accepted his, uh, his rights pretty much from the draft, and he will be on the Chicago Bulls for two years. Again, expected. I have to make a video whether or not I think he'll get significant game time on the Bulls. I think more as the summer league goes on, we can continue to understand what Ayo is truly all about and what he's going to bring to this team. And it's still a little bit of an unknown point right now. I don't think we've seen the best of Ayo Dosumo in the summer league at the moment. And I think he could do a lot better than what he's shown. So hopefully he's just getting his feet wet. And when we truly need him, he can show what he's all about. Because I truly think offensively, he's a lot better than what he's showing. Defensively, he looks pretty solid. I'm very happy with how his defense is going in the summer league. And of course... A defensive team the way that we are is very important considering a lot of those players will need to play some defense on this team. So good defensive players could be a very good sign for the Chicago Bulls. We'll, we'll see about Ayo Dusumo later on. And last but not least, we're going to be talking about Marco Seminovic. Marcus Seminovic is always an interesting player, someone that's intrigued me from the get-go. I don't think we've seen the best out of Marco either. I feel like there have been times where he has been, I guess, poor defensively and he's not taken care of the ball enough. And I think out of every single game, every game he's had at least three turnovers. So... There is a lot of work to do with Marco. He's not the finished article just yet. He's not better than Larry Markkinen just yet, in my opinion. And he can definitely still progress as a player. But he does show very good signs. He had a strong debut, and he's done very well offensively until the last game, of course, uh, with, with his shot selection and his ability to make shots and take shots. He's a good mid-range shooter. He's made some threes before. He seems like he's going to be a solid bench production player, in my opinion, and that's exactly what I want to see. I'm happy that he signed on board for the Chicago Bulls, and I can't wait to see how he could truly be effective on this Chicago Bulls team more than just the Summer League. With the Summer League, it kind of he's kind of the main guy outside of Patrick Williams, in my opinion. He needs to make shots. If he's not making shots, he's not really doing much. So... If I if if uh, Marco Seminovic is doing a lot for the Chicago Bulls summer league team, then I think the summer league team would do a lot better. So it is what it is. He's he's this is a very difficult time for for Marco. I should say um, he's basically moving from another country to Chicago. And pretty much straight after he's going into the summer league. It's not an easy time for him at the moment. And I think that does play a part in how he's playing. However, again, as time goes on, I'd like to see Marco 
truly see what he's all about. Preseason might be the way to go with Marco, but again, the Summer League is still important, and I want to see him shine in the Summer League, and I want to see him thrive overall for the Chicago Bulls. And these are the three players that the Chicago Bulls have taken on board for, I guess, the ongoing season, and probably a little bit beyond that as well. These players are the ones the Chicago Bulls are going to give a chance on. And with the Summer League coming up in a few hours against the Memphis Grizzlies, these are the players that I want to see step up to the occasion. I don't know if Devon Dotson will play or not. Ayo Dusumo, I suspect, will play. I want him to step up. I want Marco to step up. These two players are very important. If they're going to be given a chance on this team, they're going to be getting minutes on this team, they need to show that they deserve those minutes. And hopefully they can do that. I think Marco's done okay. Ayo's done okay as well. But they could both do better. And that's what I want to see. And hopefully the Summer League will allow us over time to see the true benefit of having those players on this team going into the regular season. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. A little bit of a shorter video, ladies and gentlemen. There is not too much to talk about. Uh, I might do some more free agency videos in who should we get because there's one specific player that I do want to talk about that still at this point in time has not signed for an NBA team yet. I would like to talk about him and hopefully by the time I do talk about him, there's potential he could join the Chicago Bulls or if he does go to another team, opportunity's gone. But with that being said, have a wonderful and safe day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.